As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search. Match. With Indeed, when I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform, with over 350 million global monthly visitors according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. Now for our story. In the study of the luxurious home on 11th Street, Ben Calvert's daughter, Kit, stood at a little table arranging some snapdragons in a crystal bowl. Jessie, Ben's wife, sat at the desk writing a letter. Now, as Kit makes an impatient exclamation, Jessie looks up. You always go at things so violently, Kit. The way you tackle those flowers... Well, I can't make the silly things look right. Well, don't let it get you. For heaven's sake, why don't you relax once in a while? Relax, relax. That's all I ever hear in this house. You, Dad. Even Miss Thorndyke has taken up the cry. Well, then there must be something to it. We can't all be wrong. Oh, why not? <laughs> oh, don't be childish, Kit. Obviously, if everyone in the house feels that you're continuing... All I on know it... is I'm getting awfully fed up with a lot of you. If people would just let me alone... Well, you ought to be glad we're concerned about you. <laughs> oh, concerned. That's not it, Jessie. It gives you so much satisfaction telling other people how to behave... And I'm very tired of it, I'll tell you that. I wish to heaven I could take the baby and clear out, finally and completely. Yes, I know you do. But unfortunately, your father has something to say about that. Well, he's about to get an unpleasant surprise. I'm tired of being bullied and dominated. It's about time I told Dad, and you too, for that matter, to go to blazes. This is my life. Oh, what's the matter with Lucy? Why doesn't she answer? Oh, I forgot to tell you, she went to visit her sister this afternoon. Oh, well, I'll get it. You Miss Calvert, Miss Kit Calvert? I, yes. I've got something for you. Here. But, what is it? Well, lady, the quickest way to find out is to open the envelope and read what's inside. So long. Superior Court, County of Wakefield. William R. Meade versus Catherine L. Calvert. You are hereby ordered to appear in the above entitled court 10 a.m. to show cause, if any, why the previous order of this court awarding custody of the minor child of the parties to wit should not be... Who is it, Kit? Why, Kit, what's the matter? What's that paper? Here, Jessie. Read it yourself. Oh, for heaven's sake, why? This means that, that Bill's reopening the case after all. Yes. He's dragging the thing into court again. Here. Did you see this, Kit? What? This affidavit. This order is based on the records in the above entitled action and upon the affidavit of William R. Meade, copy of which is attached here, too. I'll have to go through the whole messy business all over again. Oh, why couldn't Bill let well enough alone? Oh, but, Kit, you're certainly not surprised, are you? Bill said right along he intended to reopen the case. I didn't think he'd be able to. I kept thinking he'd stop being so stupid about it. Well, you can hardly call it stupid, Kit. He wants the baby and he's trying to get custody, that's all. In a way, I should think you'd be relieved. Relieved? Well, that's a funny thing to say. I'm served with a notice that I have to go through a whole messy court trial all over again. I may even lose custody of my son and you think I should be relieved. But look here, Kit, you're not going to pretend your chief worry is that you may lose custody of the baby. Is that so unnatural? Well, it wouldn't be, except that you've made it perfectly evident you don't really care about the child. 
You've said as much several times in front of everyone in this house. I only hope you haven't gone around making such statements away from here. Wouldn't sound very good in court, you know. You're just dying to get into that courtroom, aren't you, Jesse? You'll really be in your element, watching me drag through torture. Oh, I wouldn't say it was that bad, Kit. No need to dramatize. I'm beginning to understand now. Something Dad said last night. I didn't know what he meant at the time. Well, what did it then say? He said that the only way Bill could reopen the case would be on the basis of new evidence. New evidence? Hmm, I wonder what that means. Well, I... I presume it means evidence about what's happened since the divorce was granted. Whatever that might be. Since the divorce? Well, I should think that would make you feel better. What makes you think that? Well, I mean, after all, nobody feels comfortable having people digging around in the past. You never know what they might uncover. Whatever you're insinuating, Jesse, I don't like it. I'm not insinuating anything. But if the shoe fits... Oh, shut up, Jesse. I've got to see Dad. Why don't you phone me? So you can listen in and hear what we say? Oh, no, thank you, just the same. I'll go down to his office and talk to him in private. That Jesse, the cat. She's so smug. She'd like nothing better than to see me lose this case. What could she have been hinting at? Things that have happened in the past. Several times she's acted as if she knew something. But what? New evidence. There isn't any new evidence. Nothing's happened since the divorce. Unless in some way Bill's found out about Lisa Fenner. Oh, that couldn't be it. He wouldn't be suing for custody of the child if he knew it wasn't his. No, it's just plain stubbornness on his part. I just have to be dragged through all the unpleasantness for nothing. And Dad was so sure that the case was settled. Well, wait till I show him this summons. Kit, what's the matter? You're white as a sheet. Dad, look at this. Huh? Well, McKillop wasn't bluffing. He said he'd do it. Wait a minute. You mean you've been talking to Angus McKillop, Bill's attorney? Yes, I talked to him yesterday. I thought I could make him see what a darn fool thing it was for him to reopen the case. Well, apparently you weren't very successful. The next thing we know, I'm served with papers the date is set. You probably got him so angry he decided to win the case or bust. A stubborn old mule. I think it's rather odd you didn't tell me about this last night. I knew you'd get yourself all worked up, make yourself ill again. Besides, there was just a chance McKillop might think better of the whole thing. I'm afraid your deductions have missed fire again. Well, what do we do now? We, we can't just sit around and let things happen. Let him take that baby away from you. They're him. not going to take that baby away from you. You can just forget about that. No, oh, can I? You're the one who's been telling me not to worry about the case being reopened. You said they'd never be such fools. Well, it seems that they are. That's right. I didn't think they would. It's just common sense. I thought McKillop would realize it was a losing battle and give it up. And he would have, if he had the sense he was born with. Well, that's all water under the bridge now. We haven't time to stand around and argue. The case comes up on Monday. The point is, what are we going to do? I phoned Farnsworth this morning. He's standing by in Chicago, ready to come down at a moment's notice. I wish you wouldn't take this so hard, Kit. Have a little more faith in my judgment for once. I'm going to win this case, mark my words. And it'll all be settled once and for all. The case will be settled and something else, too. I'm going to see to it that this fine ex-husband of yours will never bother us again. I'm going to settle his hash for him. But, Dad, wouldn't it be better just to try and win the case? Let the whole thing simmer down quietly instead of making a big fuss? What do you mean, Kit? Why should we let him get by I don't, with it? I don't want to start anything we can't finish, that's all. If you try to get tough with Bill, he... Kit, are you absolutely sure you're not keeping something from me? Have you told me the entire truth? Of course I have. You ought to know better than to ask. All right. I'll take your word for it. But every so often I've had the feeling there was something you were hiding. Oh, nonsense. You're imagining things. 
Instead of being suspicious of your own daughter, why don't you watch that precious wife of yours? Jessie's been acting very strangely lately. I wouldn't put it past her to get up in court and testify against us. Against me. Oh, don't worry about Jessie. I can take care of her. I've got Jessie right where I want her. There's not a thing in the world she could do. Or would dare to do at any rate. No. You just run along home now and stop worrying. Everything's going to be all right. But you wouldn't be so sure of that, Ben, if you knew what Angus McKillop has in mind. Because he has some evidence which might make a great difference in Kit's retaining custody of Lisa Fenner's baby son. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.